wanted to do something crazy, something unique, creative that nobody else is doing, and I have an idea. But first, let's rewind, see how this idea came into fruition. So Norbert thought of the idea to do underwater photo shoots fully clothed. And I'm like, sure. That sounds like a good idea. Then in episode four of The Profile, I asked streetwear model Johnny Edlin how he thought he grew so fast. When all these pages on Instagram starting to repost my pictures. I explained to him that he had a very high Vrin score. Thank you so much. And what that stands for is value, rarity, imitatable, and non-substitutable. And then I was thinking, how can we Vrin score the fuck out of my Instagram? So Norbert wanted to shoot me fully clothed underwater in a pool. Johnny's photographer, Tim, had a dope underwater housing taking sick content on our episode. It was a sign. So I was like, Norbert, what if we do hype beast photo shoots, not just in pools, but in epic tropical places all over the world? Fuck yeah! Yo, we got a friend score! But then I was like, wait, what are we gonna call this project? Hype beast, hype bay, slippy slappy Swanson. Maybe it's on the briefcase, look on the- Oh yeah, it's right here. I got it. Project Hype Blue. So let's break down the Vrin score. We obviously have value. Rarity, nobody else is doing this. Imitatable, not too many people want to jump in the ocean with a $2,000 outfit on. And finally, non-substitutable. I suppose I can be replaced, so if you copycat us, please hashtag Project Hype Blue in your Instagram post and join the movement. All right, so what do we need? Jack Morris from Do You Travel just posted that he's selling an underwater housing for a Sony Alpha. Norbert, send him a DM, tell him that we want it, and we want it now. Super cool model, Camfoos bro. Now I just need to gather all of my Hypebeast gear and we are good to go. Damn it, this is the only Hypebeast clothing I have. Norbert, we're going to Singapore!